Hi, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I am super happy uh, to see you all and speaking here. Uh, today's topic is about how you can power your AI solutions built on, uh, let's say, ChatGPT uh, using uh, API management or uh, one hot mechanism of API management like API Gateway. But we start first with understanding ChatGPT. Um, so let me introduce myself for those who wasn't in the previous session. My name is Babur. Uh, you can call me Tiger, I also repeated this. But uh, my colleagues, they uh, call me uh, sometimes short BI. Uh, that stands for Babur International. Like uh, the idea is Bobur International, I can easily find out the common language with any nationalities around the world, wherever uh, I was. Uh, so that's why you can call me like Bobur International. Uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me on the social channels or uh, Instagram, Twitter, right, LinkedIn, and so on. Today, uh, what we will, we will talk about uh, uh, sh by shortly introducing your, like, uh, what is ChatGPT? Like, who is using ChatGPT? Oh, so many people. Are, oh, if I ask, it's vice versa, like, uh, differently, who is not using ChatGPT? Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're not using ChatGPT. <laughs> Come on, like, you should use from today. What? You should use from today. After my presentation, you will understand why. Uh, ChatGPT you should use, okay? Uh, and uh, I will also explain like what is the OpenAI API, uh, plus ChatGPT, what's the API, and API management, right? And also uh, you, you understand the benefits of integrating uh, this ChatGPT or OpenAI API with uh, API management. Uh, and how we can use, let's say, plugins, uh, existing plugins to enhance these AI solutions uh, in our applications. Uh, in the end, I have also demo uh, to show you how these features can be helpful for the AI solution. So APIs, right? Uh, uh, by now, we are all familiar with this term because uh, we are living in increasingly API-centric world, right? Every service we use today either uses API or they are APIs. Even ChatGPT uses API. I asked myself uh, in the chat, like, if ChatGPT uses API, yes. Or if you can use ChatGPT. Uh, you can use, for example, uh, ChatGPT uh, through the API using a uh, platform called OpenAI API, also OpenAI solution. Uh, by writing some code in the client or by directly calling your REST APIs, right? Where uh, ChatGPT or OpenAI is, uh, has recently announced that another cool feature where you can create your own custom plugins for uh, uh, provide some AI solutions in your application, right? Or you can use some existing uh, plugins. There are some plugins already available if you are using Plus, ChatGPT Plus paid. Uh, account, right? I have free account, but I migrated to pay it to show you this presentation. Uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, so this is actually plugins. Why uh, API is important? Because this is plugins uh, using API under the hood. Because what it does, when you chat and ask uh, in ChatGPT, uh, book me this flight and hotel for tomorrow, it uses that's a booking.com API to fetch the data, what kind of booking available automatically, and books this flight or hotel for you. Uh, that's why uh, like it uses both your API data and its own data to have a complex uh, solution. Clear, right? Uh, custom uh, plugins, uh, ChatGPT, uh, the, uh, the APIs. So let's talk about now uh, OpenAI API. Uh, it's the same as ChatGPT. How you are using interface, right? I am asking some question and answering this question. A API means uh, you programmatically ask uh, AI to do something. Like I can ask anything, right? I can ask anything through the API. I can use REST. I think uh, they are providing now only REST solution. Uh, uh, so you can do some code compilation or text generation. You will see soon. For example, uh, I can uh, ask uh, one uh, text. Uh, for example, what is a dev conference uh, in Brno? It can answer AI if it has an out to date uh, information. I think it has like a 2021 until this data. 
uh, or it can, uh, it can help me to write some code, uh, find out some bugs, right? or it can generate some images or variations of images, uh, and so on. This is uh, how API does with, uh, without uh, interface. And how ChatGPT can help developers? This is, I think, the most uh, important question everybody asks uh, themselves. Is there any idea uh, how ChatGPT can help the developers? Yeah, go ahead. For, for example, I, I have created a script which uh, completes annotations for like uh, 5,000 of the uh, very poorly annotated code. Yeah. yeah, this is actually a use case. Uh, which, what kind of annotation? For which programming language? Or? TypeScript, okay, right. Yeah. And I was waiting, 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 and now I have completed the registration to be like in. Uh, but it's helping, right? At least like 50% uh, uh, making you more performance, right? Uh, for me also, it helped with generating codes. Uh, for example, uh, I am a, a contributor to API 6 project. It's, uh, it, you can write some plugins, right? In Lua programming language, I don't know Lua, honestly. I don't want to learn because I know uh, advanced languages. Uh, I don't have to learn. I can use ChatGPT, ask, uh, uh, like, uh, can you write me some Lua code? It, it does actually 95% uh, correctly, like this Lua code is written for me. I was able to create new plugin called File Proxy. Uh, you can check a link I will provide. Like, this is not the topic of today, but what I'm trying to explain to you, it can exactly help you to generate some code. And also writing some test cases. Uh, uh, I, told, I had a chance to talk to some companies. Uh, they are now using ChatGPT to write some integration tests because usually for integration tests, you need input, input data, right? If uh, some uh, user clicks this button, this uh, something should happen or like this. In this case, ChatGPT can create some input uh, for your uh, programs. Uh, for testing, it's really good for generating documents. Like if you are writing as a developer some documentation, you don't have to write your own your own one. You can just ask ChatGPT, please explain this API, what it does, and write the Swagger definition, or uh, sorry, Open API definition. It can create Open API definition. Uh, is it reduced the time, right? Uh, other use case I'm gonna skip, just to uh, give you idea. You can observe yourself. If you're using ChatGPT, you know what's the capabilities. I'm not as, uh, as a promoting ChatGPT. I, I don't work for Microsoft. Uh, at, and this is the differences. Like I, as I said, ChatGPT interface, you can use as a user friendly. You can ask some questions. API just makes uh, these AI models throw the rest. Uh, and you can interact with AI uh, inside your application. This is the one advantages of API, using API. I will, you will see uh, how it can get, take a benefit in my demo. And uh, my statement here, okay, we understood. Uh, HRGPT uh, uses uh, APIs to write some custom plugins. And custom plugins uh, able to call uh, API, right? Again, uh, API usage. And also, uh, we do have a lot of service using uh, ChatGPT through the API. In this case, uh, my API should be secure, first of all. And, sec and second of all, it should be scalable. I should be able to scale my APIs, right, by running different instances of the same API, so on. If one instance fails, uh, it should always fall back to another instance and should be available 100% of the time. How to achieve this? How to make uh, our API secure, performant, and scalable? Ask yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's actually great. I asked uh, this question also, uh, but I, there was a lot of solutions, right, available. In, it was in the chat, but then, then I uh, end up with this is about API indicators, right? Uh, successful indicators like performance, availability, and security. And then one answer was one of the answers was using API Gateway. Uh, if you want to have a secure performance and uh, scalable APIs, you can use API Gateway. Why? Uh, I, from the previous talk also, I was uh, explaining like API Gateway because uh, in the center, right, in the, in the heart, like it can uh, know all these uh, APIs uh, exposed by, by your backend services. 
Uh, it means like it can control the security. Right? There's a door, I cannot go inside, but in the inside my uh, friends, but uh, to see my friends, I need to say code or I need to, uh, in a, how to say, access this information, right? API gateway also like a front door uh, to uh, accept the request and to secure your applications. Uh, also, it can scale. Uh, your backend service can also scale, but also API gateway can also scale in such a way that like for three service, one API gateway, like uh, there is a concept of uh, backend for front end, right? You can use a separate API gateway for mobile applications, a separate API gateway for, uh, let's say, web applications, so on, to, to, to show different information on different applications. Uh, my colleague Nico also here, he has a very famous talk. Uh, it's called the backend for front end, right? Uh, you can also uh, talk to him, like it's, uh, he can explain a lot of uh, usability about this backend for front end solutions. And of course, the plugins, another important fact in API gateways, you can use uh, plugins to achieve this stuff, like uh, uh, observability. I had a presentation just before this, how you can observe API using API gateway, or uh, how you can uh, make authentication, like a single sign-on, uh, or you can, how you can use identity providers like uh, Google or maybe uh, some other identity providers uh, in API Gateway. So uh, API 6, uh, I can introduce one more time. This is on my T-shirt. Uh, open source project, also uh, API Gateway. Uh, we can use it um, for free. Uh, there is a lot of features, good features, like a plugin hot reloading, for example, uh, what it does mean, let's say, you, we said like uh, our API should be performance, right? You don't have to add, uh, you don't have to stop your current running server if you want to enable new plugin. Without any downtime, you can delete or add additional plugin. That's one of the capabilities of API 6 uh, without stopping, right? Uh, and other capabilities like a plugin development, you can uh, create your own plugin in your favorite programming language. Like, as I say, I don't know Lua, I hate Lua, I can use Java plugin runner to create my Java or ChatGPT, uh, ask ChatGPT to write some Lua code. And of course, dashboard, you can use dashboard uh, to achieve the same things without writing any code uh, in a low code environment. These are some of the uh, cool features why I like API 6. And next topic is how, okay, uh, use this uh, API gateway and AI together. Because my statement was, problem statement was, uh, for ChatGPT, we need secure APIs. Uh, in this case, I can use API Gateway to secure uh, like a, my uh, API calls, right? I can en enable JWTT token, uh, based authentication, or I can enable even a basic authentication with just user password and login. If you imagine like uh, uh, you want to have this authentication enabled within your code, if you're using Java, Spring Framework, you need to write, you need to use Spring, right? You need to do some configuration, uh, do a lot of stuff. Uh, even ChatGPT helps you, it takes time. But the uh, API Gateway, you can just use one plugin and to enable your uh, security feature. It's a, a little bit faster, uh, not time consuming because it's already tested uh, by the community members. Uh, another thing is performance in ChatGPT. For example, if you're using APIs uh, to ask something on AI, uh, you, it uh, takes, uh, first of all, some time, and also it's uh, not for free. You need to pay each time you ask uh, ChatGPT. In this case, you can use the uh, API Gateway caching mechanism to cache some responses so that you can use this response uh, in the future. It improves also performance. Right? These are some indicators. And you can use other plugins, just rate limiting. For example, you can limit the API accesses uh, uh, per uh, maybe uh, some amount of time. I can say only free users can request my API for free, uh, 100 requests per maybe minute. If they are using more, uh, I will ask, uh, please uh, pay uh, for the other usage or change your uh, layer, paying layer, like uh, maybe pay as you go and so on. There are some other features you can use with AI. I'm gonna demo soon in this picture, as you can see. This picture illustrates, let's assume that I have one client application, I am building one startup project, uh, mobile application maybe, uh, you will see my mobile application. And this mobile application talks to API Gateway. And API Gateway uh, has a one single endpoint, slash ask me anything, we can ask anything. 
right? And then it uh, actually uh, enables some plugins to control the authentication, rate limiting, security, and so on. And under the hood also it does call to AI.AI chat. Uh, it's endpoint. It's exported by my Spring Boot application. Uh, I built a Spring Boot application that it interacts with AI. You will see. Uh, and basically, I have one mywebsite.com uh, slash ask me anything endpoint. It's my own uh, domain. Uh, I am calling uh, to another domain, uh, Spring Boot backend service to get some data. Uh, clear, right? This architecture diagram. Right, simple, yes. And next one, if you assume that once Spring Boot application receives a request slash NAI chat, it can call slash v1 slash compilations endpoint of OpenAI. It's actually existing uh, API uh, uh, exposed by ChatGPT. You can use the endpoint to ask anything. Uh, this part also clear, right? How uh, the request flow uh, going to AI and coming to the, from the AI. If it's clear, we can jump to demo session. Uh, here in the presentation, you can also uh, scan this QR code. It brings you to GitHub repository uh, with my demo. Uh, if you want to try yourself at the, at the end of the session, if you're like, interested enough on AI solutions. Uh, who is a Java developer here? Oh, many. I am also a Java developer. <laughs> Yeah, because actually this demo, I used the Java and Spring Framework uh, to achieve. Let me uh, show you. If you open this QR code, it brings you to this uh, API 6, Java ChatGPT OpenAI API report. And I have some branches, like depending on what you want to achieve. Like one branch, a main branch, uh, uh, for example, shows uh, on, in the old way how you can uh, use some coral commands to enable uh, some plugins, uh, for example, uh, you can also check the API 6 documentation, uh, like, ah, let me switch to the next one. Uh, documentation to use API gateway, you need to, for example, create upstream, route, or plugins, and so on, right? Uh, this is a, a one way of uh, configuring an API gateway. Uh, there is another way of uh, setting up API gateway by using standalone version. Let me switch back. Uh, I am gonna demo it with standalone because standalone, what it does, you can just write one YAML file, uh, single YAML file with your all the routes, plugins configuration, and it, uh, you don't have to change next time. If you want to change, it automatically updates because uh, API 6 is a uh, hot reloading, right? And if you open this branch, uh, there are some folders. One folder uh, is OpenAI API. It's a Java application, simple Java application. Uh, it has a pom.xml file, right? If you open pom.xml file, uh, there is one library. It's actually just Spring Boot Starter web application. And I am using uh, one uh, community uh, API that uh, wraps some uh, API calls to ChatGPT in Java. Uh, you can also build your own, uh, like this SDK. This is not difficult to interact with OpenAI API because if you open OpenAI API documentation, uh, there are enough documentation actually. Like you can see API references, like uh, it can teach you how you can authenticate to AI, right? Uh, for example, if to authenticate to AI, you need to use API key, or if you want to use some other endpoints, like uh, let's say chat completion, you need to request this endpoint. If you remember from the architecture diagram, I had this slash v1. I'm gonna call this uh, chat completion endpoint now. Uh, without uh, Java now, without API gateway. Let's do that. I assume that I have API key here. I have API key, I have a paid account, I paid US, 10 USD dollar to uh, make this demo. Uh, but it's not the case, please uh, don't use my API key, uh, it can overuse. Uh, let's do one request just to show you like how this AI works. Uh, for example, I have here prepared some uh, Coral Commons examples I'm gonna uh, request uh, ai.com, uh, openai.com, set a completion endpoint with my uh, authorization key, and I, I am just saying you are helpful assistant, let's say. Uh, if I send this request, let me open my terminal here, and separate channel, here we go. 
and we can open one time here. So I hope it's visible. If I see, press enter. You see, uh, it's ChatGPT uh, uh, responding me now. Thank you. How I can assist you today, right? Uh, this is very simple, right? I can show uh, the model, which model, AI model I want to use. Uh, I can use ChatGPT4 also. Now I'm using 3.5 Turbo version. You can have a look uh, in the documentation, it explains which model, uh, how, with what, kind of, uh, what kind of power uh, they can offer. But what if now I don't want to use Coral command because I want to add some functionality uh, because uh, I'm building application, right? Uh, to ask anything. In this case, uh, I built my Java application. As we started from the beginning, let's say under OpenAI documentation, as you can see, I have a simple Java application with single controller class. Uh, with single endpoint, also called slash AI chat, that uses a community library to send the same request we did with Coral uh, for, uh, for just now, right? Uh, for example, I can ask anything from this chat. So, and I have a Docker Compose uh, that builds API 6, uh, my Java application, and AppSmith, you will see soon, because I'm using, building full stack. A startup project. Uh, AppSmith is UI solution. It's also open source. You can check. Uh, you, I will see the screen, uh, what I did. Uh, first of all, let me show you end solution. What uh, end solution was, and I will explain it a little bit uh, down. End solution is, uh, I have, let's say, uh, let's run this Docker Compose file with two containers, API 6, OpenAI API. So once uh, my container is up and running, uh, I'm using Docker Desktop. Uh, we have 10 minutes. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we, we, I'm going fast. Don't worry. Uh, if I open this AppSmith UI, you will see my UI application here, localhost. Here we go. Oh, it's, now, uh, it's not opening. Uh, let's do one more time. Yes. AppSmith is starting. It's a UI builder uh, framework. You don't have to learn front end uh, to build this UI, uh, like uh, JavaScript or HTML, CSS. You can just use the dashboard with the widgets, uh, ready components, put these components to build the applications. You will see now, uh, once it's starting, uh, I have already one uh, built uh, application. Uh, a little bit of loading, here we go. My first AI application is called it, uh, using AppSmith. If I launch it, it has two pages. Uh, let me bring one more time. Uh, here we go. I think uh, from the edit I can also launch. Preview version. Here we go. It has two pages. One login page and main page. Uh, because we need a security, right, for the application, first of all, so that my uh, users can log in and also use some AI uh, solution. Uh, for the login page, I use a simple uh, UI, right? But it's under the hood using API 6. Uh, API 6 uh, enable the JWT token uh, authentication. Like when I, for example, register my user on API 6, uh, they can use their uh, you, uh, emails to log in. in. And then API 6 uh, sends back the token, JWT token, so that the uh, AppSmith uh, application saves this token to the store. Uh, the other requests will be like just direct uh, using uh, authentication header. Let's go. If you do login, login successful, I am on the main page. I'm not going to ask about the Microsoft Azure, but you can ask any questions here. Uh, what, what do you want to me ask here? How old are you? How, how, how old are you? Let's ask it. Uh, it's actually automatically reloaded the page, right? You see the, the response coming from AI, this one. Uh, because for, on your first load, you up, up uh, the web page, it's uh, responding. Uh, how old are you? No, so you get, ChatGPT cannot respond but wow. to specific questions. Let's see. Uh, I am AI, blah, blah, blah. Oh, probably the root answer. Uh, is innovative, age gazing design. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a question? Sorry. Yeah. Be beyond what? Beyond. Beyond specific goods. Ah, do you want me to ask a question here also? <laughs> yes, why not? 
Uh, how it's pronounced? This is Dion. This one, Dion. Dion. No. Correct. D. D. I. India. Uh huh. Like this? Like Celine Dion. B is Y. Like this? What is this? Yeah. Let's ask. Maybe it doesn't know. You may know. Because, uh, no, Dion is compressive online tool. Because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you are not right. <laughs> Actually, this uh, the old data, right? Uh, 21, uh, 2021. That's why AI solution is uh, old. What I'm uh, trying to explain here, uh, actually not the UI or not the, uh, the how we are responding. Also, here is uh, how the security feature is working. I didn't spend much time for this demo. Uh, 15 minutes, I built this uh, JWT-based application uh, with API Gateway, right? For example, I can log in, I can log out, I can do registration uh, just uh, without spending time. For example, if I do log out, now uh, the API 6 just uh, gets uh, an invalidate the JWT token, and I need to request again. Uh, and the same pass uh, repeats, right? And uh, you need to ask some question and AI solution to questions. So this, that was kind of demo, uh, the simple application uh, here. But under the hood, uh, under the hood, what's happening, uh, actually what's happening, first of all, I had one API 6 uh, set up here. Uh, as you can see, it's a simple YAML file uh, as you uh, configure your Kubernetes. Uh, I am configuring my backend application, my backend application, Java, right? Uh, which is running uh, on Docker, yes, five minutes, Docker uh, Open API, and I have route, call it, ask me anything. If you remember from diagram, ask me anything. Uh, and while ask me anything is called from external uh, app submit application, we are using proxy rewrite because this ask me anything endpoint should be rewrite uh, to this URI, right? Java URA, actually AI chat, uh, not ask me anything. Uh, as you can see here uh, in uh, this one, this is AI chat and API 6 actually uh, uh, rewriting the URI. And also I am using for the login, slash login endpoint, a uh, single plugin called uh, JWT. And I have one API consumer. API consumer, as if you remember, I use it, its email address here, upsubmit.gmail.com. Uh, uh, how it's easy, right? Uh, I have created consumer with single, like a YAML file, and with that, that's all, API 6 is ready, and I have one uh, Java application is ready, and uh, with single two pages, my Java, uh, the AppSmith UI is ready. Uh, and now my question to you, who would like to invest in this my startup project? <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, I mean, at least you can do something, right? Yeah, of course, sorry, I, it's a new feature requirement. I will add, uh, Dion. <laughs> Dion, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I know that you have to really search until things very precise. Yeah, sometimes that's the point, like why uh, ChatGPT is aimed at custom plugin development. In this case, I, I know that the Dynasty City exists. I can add them to my own database, uh, to my Java application, for example, and then I can combine these two responses together. In this case, I can empower my AI solution, right? Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how much how much do you want to put uh, into investment? <laughs> do you want to have a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, if you're interested, just look, uh, please. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, only yeah, only if you can see in my demo, only AI open API is uh, paid, but the rest is uh, of course for free. Uh, I think, I don't remember, it was uh, 18 USD dollars uh, provided also, ChatGPT, uh, for free usage. Uh, I used it five months. Uh, it's actually long, you can use, uh, until you build something real, like my application. <laughs>
uh, yeah, the restriction, uh, the question I will repeat, uh, what uh, uh, we want to implement uh, additional features, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I want to implement uh, some features, uh, but I couldn't because uh, the restrictions by the OpenAI API, yes, there are a lot of restrictions. Uh, it's the right question. Um, restriction is one, we found it's all data. Uh, we cannot use all data. And the restriction is uh, we cannot believe the chat GPT is some private information uh, uh, related to the company, right? In this case, I should use my own storage. One of my friends, he's actually not in IT, he asked the question, like, he, he really a good question. Okay, ChatGPT we are using, what I want to use, uh, one, also one, my own data inside the ChatGPT, and I should also uh, save this response in my storage uh, for the future. Uh, also some, it's impossible now. Maybe there is a plugin, it can be achievable, but uh, it's not uh, as a production ready storage like this. Uh, Yes, yes. There is a plugin. I forgot to remember. I think there is a plugin also to achieve this. You know, I remember also Azure, they uh, had uh, announced that one uh, ChatGPT flow called a separate service on Azure where you can specify flow. Okay, say one output uh, should be an input to uh, another ChatGPT so that you can have a complex flows uh, in this uh, storage, I mean. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah the, is there any features uh, that I want to implement? But there is uh, still uh, some time to uh, implement it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I want to implement, for example, uh, uh, my own custom plugin. Uh, that shows uh, all the discounts in the, around the city. But the limitation, uh, I, didn't, uh, I haven't get uh, my access <laughs> to use this uh, custom plugin development. <laughs> we can maybe discuss with you later, like uh, other limitations. So uh, we can stop because we are running out of time. Thank you all uh, for your attention. I'm happy. Uh, you can check this uh, uh, demo. Uh, it's great. Uh, AI is great. Let's see future what it brings. Thank you.